Hey guys, so it's 2015, it's a new year, and many people of course see it as a new start, and I'm looking at this year as a new chapter in my life of many to come. And this video isn't the usual Louise Parker video, it's a little bit more serious, and it's something which I've been wanting to do for a while, and I can feel my heart palpitating and beating like it has never done before. So 2014 has possibly been the greatest year of my life. I have fully come to terms with who I am and I am proud of who I am. I'm Lewis Parker, I'm 19 years old, I'm a journalist student, I live in London and I'm gay. And I can feel this relief coming over my body as I've just said that and I feel really hot, but, and I've never really said that that many times, I've probably said it about four times in my life, and it's taken me a long time to get here. So I haven't always known that I was gay, um, when I was a child I knew that I felt attraction towards guys, but I just pushed it to the side and thought, right, I'll get on with my childhood and I'll try not to think about it, and gradually, within time, me pushing that back became pretty much unacceptable, it became impossible. I think the moment that defined it for me, in the moment which I truly realised who I was, even though I was still a long way from actually accepting that, was, I think it was in year nine, and I asked a girl, I asked her out via text, I wasn't expecting her to accept, but she did, and as soon as she accepted, I was overcome with this feeling of feeling physically sick. I just thought maybe this is what happens when you ask a girl out. And then it got to a point where I physically couldn't hang around with her and I decided to stay indoors and she'd be texting me, where are you, it's lunchtime, and I physically couldn't bring myself to go sit up on the field and talk and maybe kiss, I don't know. She finished with me and I don't blame her. I look back at that point in my life and feel very horrible about it. That is the defining moment for me when I knew, no, something's not right. I'm not like the other guys. Now, coming on to my childhood, I was brought up in a Catholic family. Um, most of my family are religious. I went to a Catholic primary school and a Catholic secondary school and a Catholic sixth form. And obviously, as a gay teenager, religion isn't exactly your best friend. Luckily, since about year nine at school, I had a very supportive best friend who has always been there for me, even though I didn't actually come out to her until about a year and a half ago, but she's always been there to support me. Um, she's called Chloe, and thank you very much for, um, for being there for me all this time. So at this point in my life, I didn't really have any gay role models as such. I mean, the only people who I knew who were out as gay were TV personalities such as Graham Norton and Paul O'Grady. They are considerably flamboyant, and I didn't see myself as fitting in with this flamboyant camp image of a, a stereotypical gay person. This led to me thinking, why aren't I the same as them? Which then led to a little bit of an identity crisis, which furthered me feeling quite depressed. From the moment that I clicked upload on YouTube for the first time, it's cheesy to say, but my life completely changed forever. I have surrounded myself and continue to surround myself with such a supporting and accepting group of people. So there was a few people who I ended up confiding in and telling them my sexuality and my troubles and it's thanks to those people why I am making this video today. Those friends educated me on things which I never knew existed, they opened my eyes to new things, they introduced me to new people who were the same as me and they made me feel like I was normal, they made me feel accepted. They helped me find myself in a world where I never thought that would be possible and obviously for that I could never be more grateful. The whole journey of coming out and finding your place and accepting who you are isn't an easy journey. And I have made many mistakes. I have had a relationship or two which haven't turned out. One thing which really helped me along my journey of actually accepting myself was the tons and tons of coming out videos on YouTube. And those videos are fantastic resources and that's one of the reasons why I'm making this today. Those videos taught me that being gay, bi, trans or anything else, it doesn't mean that you can't be happy. I never thought that I would feel comfortable with myself and that I would be able to smile and be proud about saying two words, I'm gay, um, but I am 
and it's something which I never thought to be possible. I have so much gratitude for the people who uploaded those videos and especially now I'm actually filming this video, it takes guts and it's, it is hard. Um, but those videos have helped me and they've helped many others and that is why I'm uploading this today. I'm sick of hiding in the shadows, of not being myself, of talking to people and never being the genuine me. It feels almost like I'm an actor and I'm playing a character because I can never be the person who I actually am. And now, by making this, I can be who I am. I can be a Lewis Parker, not a version of Lewis Parker. Um, which I've been for quite a long time. We should live our lives how we want to live them. We shouldn't conform to how other people expect us to live. It's our lives, and if we want to be happy, if we're happy doing a certain thing, then let's do that. Because what is the point in living your life making somebody else happy when you yourself aren't happy? Don't just live your life, love it. Even though at times it does feel like you are completely alone in this world, Trust me, you're not, um, and there's plenty of places and forums where you can go online and there's plenty of organisations such as Stonewall in the UK and the Trevor Project in the US and I'm going to put some links below. So thanks for watching this video guys, it's something which at one point I never thought I would be saying or uploading and it has been scary and I am fully sweating if you saw my hands, it's a bit disgusting, it has been quite the journey, a hard journey at that, but we're finally here. Um, I'm the same Lewis, I'm going to be uploading the same videos, you just know another fact about me. Thanks for watching guys, and I will see you next week.